Pollution from food, nitrate and phosphate. These are the most hotly debated topics in reefing. Almost no one's willing to go on record as to what the best levels or approaches are. It's time to share our recommendation on when nutrients turn into pollution. And when pollution turns into poison, the exact numbers all these tanks are gonna run on and the most comprehensive reason as to why to date. All that is coming up. Hi, I'm Ryan and this is 52SC. This is the first of a handful of episodes on pollution in the reef tank, effective solutions to combat the results of those approaches in these seven tanks. Today, we address the single biggest source of pollution in most modern reef tanks. It's the daily addition of fish and coral foods. Foods as a source of pollution is a challenge that's addressed in every successful tank. Foods are nutritive or beneficial by nature, required for survival, and even the broken down organics and residual nitrate and phosphate can be critical in some tanks. That's until the import and export find themselves out of balance. They start rising. At some point, they become pollutive. Most reefers would agree to the simple statement of no fish or coral wants to live in polluted water, but we might not agree on what polluted water is. What if we apply the actual definition of pollution? A substance that has harmful or poisonous effects when sufficient quantities are absorbed, respirated, or ingested. Then I think everyone agrees. Some pollutants or poisons may cause immediate mortality. Some may make the fish or coral sick or susceptible to other stresses. Some poisons may even lead to subtle changes in health that may not be noticed for years. The mission is a better understanding of why some corals thrive and others randomly kick it in answers to the old tank syndrome, which is just a blanket diagnosis for everything was going fantastic. I haven't changed a thing, but now the tank took a hard turn for the worse. Prolonged stress and poor water quality is one of the most likely culprits. Pollutants from foods can be broken down into two buckets, nutrients like phosphate and nitrate, which are mostly near to midterm problems and easily correctable at almost any point. Then everything else, like the buildup of unused vitamins and minerals in the tank, many often untestable even with ICP because they bioaccumulate in the tissue and near impossible to diagnose when mortalities occur but also entirely avoidable with some common sense approaches. We hit it all, but kick it off with a portion of this that almost no one thinks about, the toxic bioaccumulation of excess minerals from foods. 